Hey everyone, welcome to the Jill Lublin Show. So glad you stopped by and you will be too because today I have Sarah Lascano. She is an amazing healer who will support you in feeling better, I promise, by the end of this podcast. In fact, Sarah Lascano is the founder of Ray Zen Energy. She's an energy medicine practitioner and author of The Hidden Force Within, available this fall. She's a recognized holistic and energy healing expert and merges her medical experience with her engineering background, yes, and she's expert in helping people discover the root cause of their health problems and move forward to new health freedom. That sounds good. Welcome, Sarah. Thank you, Jill. Thanks for having yeah. me. Oh, so glad you're here. Now, I know, you know, I mean, one thing I just want to start with is you're an expert in stress and anxiety. What are we talking about here? Can you help define that a little bit? You know, we carry so much stress and anxiety in the way we live, the way we eat, the lack of sleep, our to-do list being so long. And what we don't realize is that's affecting our nervous system and our immune system. And so it affects our health. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. I mean, I don't know. Is it just me or do, does my to-do list have babies in the night? I, you know, I feel like they're, <laughs> I feel like they're bunnies and they multiply. <laughs> That's right. And so, yeah, if we don't know how to set some boundaries, there's some simple things we can do. If we, if we don't take action intentionally, that can really build up and become a burden to our health and lead to chronic illness. Good. Well, we're going to talk about that in just a moment. But before we do that, I want to ask you, how is the body and the body's energy actually affected by stress? So when this is a great question, when we are under stress of any kind, so this could be emotional stress, it could be physical stress of not getting enough sleep or eating food that isn't good for you, or mental stress of too much work stress or sabotaging beliefs or any kind. So any kind of stress what that does is it hyper stimulates our endocrine system and um, our body. And so our nervous system and our hormones get out of balance. We mm. start wearing out our adrenals, these, these wonderful uh, glands that actually have to keep us in balance. That's their job is to keep us safe and to keep us balanced. And when we repeatedly stress that part of our body, it doesn't come back to to rest it's yeah. not able to get into rest and digest easily the way it should and mm. that's when problems start to build well and i want to just add on to something you said because you said uh all kinds of stress listen i got married a year ago it was a wonderful wonderful thing and a lot of stress i mean it can be positive stress too right or you know things like name some positive stresses that people don't often think about oh that's stressful is there anything else Absolutely. that comes to your mind Absolutely. I mean, uh, new business opportunities. Yeah. She'll, my, I have a child going to college this year. That is a whole new chapter in my life and maybe some stress. Uh, certainly there are some financial stress. <laughs> yes. So there's all kinds of stresses that can be really good. And we can actually help the body use that good stress constructively and not launch into fight or flight mode. So we call that sympathetic overdrive fight or flight. We don't want to go into fight or flight mode. We want to use this good stress to challenge us to take good action. Like if we're getting ready to speak to an auditorium of a thousand people, we want that stress to be able to motivate us to action rather than hit our, our body and, and cause it to land and get locked in fight or flight mode. So yes, we, we need to know how to work with that good stress to leverage it instead of harm us. I love that. Well, let, let's hear it from you, the expert. What are some simple tools that we can use to help feel better immediately if we're noticing stress or anxiety? Please tell us. <laughs> well, the first, uh, the, the, sim the first thing you can do that is super simple is to recognize that your thoughts create emotion. Okay, this is something that we don't always realize. We think that the emotion that we feel is something that we're stuck with, mm. but actually a very large portion of the emotion that we have within us, including stress and overwhelm and worry and anxiety is actually generated by our thoughts. Now, mm. some of those thoughts are conscious and some of them are subconscious, but our thoughts are creators. And so we really have to choose what we are thinking wisely 
and mm. notice when we're hearing negative thoughts in our head, we can tell those, those words can be quiet. So we can tell them to stop. So tell our negative thoughts, be quiet. Is that what you mean? Like stop. Yeah. Be quiet and choose, choose a positive thought. So if you're worried about what's going to happen tomorrow, when you go on a trip, you could remind yourself, oh, I catch you worrying. It's okay. Everything's going to work out one way or another. It's all going to work out. And you can bring yourself back interrupting that negative thought. Mm, I think the catching of oneself, that's a wonderful progression, right? Even that piece, like, oh, there it goes again, that worry or that anxiety or, you know, I, I know for me, that's been really helpful. Just catch it as it's happening. Yeah, absolutely. And what would be something else we can do just simple, quick and right now? The next thing we really need to think about is our body has a capacity for stress. And I like to call that a stress bucket. And when we are constantly overloading our capacity for stress, that stress bucket's going to be full and it's going to mm. overflow. Yeah. So one of the most important things we can do is learn to say no and set boundaries so that we stop accumulating stress. So we need to become a stress buster and look for places in our lives where we are taking on too much or not setting healthy boundaries, or there are people or situations that are draining our energy. So we all have these factors in our lives at some point, and we need to set boundaries with those. I love that. I, I just love that stress buster, you know, like the Ghostbuster movie. And I, I picture this little vacuum. Woo, we're going to just vacuum up all that stress. That's a good one, isn't it? It is. It's totally. <laughs> Is there another uh, great tip you can you can throw in throw in the bucket? <laughs> sure. You know, my final tip that I would love to add is we have an energy in our body. Our 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 body is not just uh, a bunch of cells and blood and and thoughts and emotions, but it all comes together to form an energy, and that's our our vibe, if you will. And we need to work on keeping our energy calm and peaceful. So we need to do some energy hygiene. And the best way to do that is self-care. So we've all heard that self-care is important, but I want to tell you that it actually affects your health because when you do self-care with the intention of calming your energy and your body, you are resetting your nervous system. Mm -hmm. You're getting your body into repair mode so that it can actually start fixing problems that are exist that are that are existing in your body that you may not know about and it can help you feel calm and peaceful and we all know that when we are in that state we produce positive helpful chemicals in our body we produce endorphins we produce serotonin we produce all kinds of hormones that help us feel great and actually our brain and body works better so very important to do some energy hygiene with self-care Oh, I love that. I'm going to take a bath tonight. I'm just saying. <laughs> I love Perfect. That. Perfect. I think right now you just gave so many great tips for immediate things we can do in a high anxiety world. Let's be honest right now. And I think many people are feeling it. So I hope that you out there watching and listening will do these things immediately to be your best self. And I know you're going to want to connect to Sarah. Sarah, would you uh, let us know how we can do that? Absolutely. You can find me at raysenenergy.com, R-A-Y-Z-E-N energy.com. You'll find lots of free resources and information on my website to help you do some of these tips. I love that. Thank you so much for that. And thank you so much for sharing today on the show. Thank you, Jill, for having me. You're so welcome. And everybody, uh, so glad you came by today. Hey, go check out jilllublin.com. Let's connect. Let's keep being kind out there and we'll see you back at the next show.